Yo nunca pensé que te encontraría así Que en el mundo hubiera alguien que me hiciera tan feliz Yo nunca pensé Well, here you go, boys. I use this warehouse to keep the old worthless stuff you don't use anymore. No, 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 no. no. Don't treat my tiger like that, please. Come on. Ha ha ha, the tiger. Listen to him. Have you thought about selling it? They can give you something for the frame. No. Nope. Thanks for keeping the card on, Pepe. We'll find a way to pay you. We will. We promise. Yeah. We'll pay you back. We'll pay you. Wait and see. You know what, boys? I'm more realistic than the two of you. But I'm not an inconsiderate person. Find a job first, you two, and then we'll talk about paying me back, okay? So long. <sighs> well, brother, seems like we're gonna have to forget about car racing for now. What? What are you saying, Julian? Brother, we're broke. We don't have one penny. We don't have a job. How are we gonna fix the car? What money are we gonna invest no, in it? No, no. Wait, Julian. Relax. Don't scare the hell out of me. Think about Beto, my godson, huh? Think about him. Do you want him to grow up? Say my father was a chicken, he stopped dreaming and didn't make any effort and gave up? Huh? We have but too much work on this. Two years of work, of passion, of love, commitment and money. So what? I'm willing to bet my head on it, but I can't do it alone. So can I count on you? Let's do this. Yeah. Well, now what? Hmm, how do you feel today, dear? Follow my advice and go see the doctor. That crash was too hard and you must go. That's not necessary, Aunt. I'm okay. It was just a scare. Please call Antonio and tell him that his liquidation check's ready. All right, my darling. Tell me when you want me to call a cab, okay? No, I've decided to interview drivers here at home. This time, I'm gonna do it because I don't want to watch yesterday's episode again. Where's Juliana? She left for school. Alone? Yes, why? I hope she won't change her mind on the way. The chauffeur was the only guarantee for her to get to school. Don't you need... A a driver for one of your buses? I don't have really? one. Everything is taken over here, Come on, okay? this one. A or a taxi. You know what? Everything is occupied right now. At the moment, Martin, I cannot help uh, you, come right? Come on, anything. No, no, no. Sure. I wish I could help you, Martin, but I can't, okay? All right, Martin. Hey, Ricardo. What happened to you, huh? Stop, what happened to stop, your foot? Stop bothering me, all right? You're making come fun on, of me, tell right? tell me. What happened? No, no, not now, come Martin. On. Please. A pleasure. And there's no way of kicking anybody out, right? No, no, of course not. Yeah. You can see for yourself, man. There's nothing here. Okay? Any nothing at all. No, 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 nothing, man. Nothing here. Do you like it gorgeous? How you doing, huh? Get out of here, man. Shit. Hello, Carlos. A pleasure. Julian Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez. What's up? How are How you? How you doing? All right, brother. Take a seat. Yeah. So, uh, I spoke to Carlos, the service station's owner. And what did you tell him? About work. Work? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I spoke to him. Yeah. Did you? Obviously about including you. 
But the guy's a whole team. Uh, yeah. Cool it. Let me get in. And then I'll speak to him about something later on for you. All right. The fact that there was a job for you makes me feel good. Everything's okay. No, they don't pay much. But I'll do it for my son and Gabriella. Otherwise, she's gonna drive me crazy. Of course, but that's understandable, isn't it? Yes. But I don't like this man that much. What's wrong with that? Think about Don Tulio. A good guy, but what happened? Nothing. What else? Come on. Excuse me. Carry on with your conversation. <laughs> Cheers. Congratulations. It'll be very difficult for me to find someone. I'm gonna spend the whole day doing this. But at least you are far from your beloved. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't have to explain anything. I already know it. I know you're fighting, and I don't want to be a bad omen. But what starts out wrong? Do you want some coffee? Uh, yes. Thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Very kind of you. So did you skip school today or was there no class? Hmm, that is not your problem. Yes, that's not my problem, but the problem for me is what you're going to buy. I'm just looking, thank you. If you'd let me know, I'd help you find something you like, you know? Hmm, well, I like this one. But, well, how about something like this? How about it? Uh, you like it? I like it. I'm gonna take Perfect. it. Perfect. No, but I'm not going to make such a long line for this no, dress. No, no, no. Today's you. your lucky day. What do you mean? Why? Because you could give me the money and I could pay for you there. <laughs> oh, why are you so kind? Well, it's an exception we make sure at the store with pretty girls like you. Now, if you decide to waste in the line and buy it, it's fine with me, okay? All right? But I'm going to tell you something. You won't be able to buy a dress like this at the price I'm giving you, okay? Hmm? I'm going to take it. Perfect. Thanks. Lopez, do we know what's wrong with this car? Yes, Don Carlos. This beauty needs a new gas pump and two valves of the injection system are broken too. It's pretty messed up. Oh, I didn't know you worked so fast and so good. That's great. Well, that's what happens when you know these cars' noises by heart. It's a piece of cake. It's really easy. It's fine. Change the fuel pump. Put the valves on, I have some second-hand ones there, okay? And that can be charged as something new. Pardon? What? Do what you just heard. Put some second-hand valves on in the deposit and charge them as if they were new. No, 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 no. You got me wrong. I, I, I don't want to cheat anybody. Well, if you don't like it, there's the door. Perfect. Lopez. I don't think that dignity is gonna help you raising that kid up. No way. Uh. Run, they're following us. Who? What? What do you mean? Why? Look, I sold you a stolen dress, okay? What? Just move it up. But, but what, you're a thief? Look, there. There's your money, okay? No, why do I have to run? I did not steal anything. Look, what is going to happen when they call your place and they realize you didn't go to school and now you're in a mess? You have to get out of here real fast, and I'm going to tell you something beforehand. Don't believe the first guy that tells you something, okay? I was wrong. I'm the lucky one here. <laughs> now what about that guy, huh? Mm, relax, brother. What's not meant for you won't <sighs> be for you. But we're still in the same situation, Martin. Yes, but something's good's gonna happen. Hey relax. guys, what's going on? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, shouldn't you be at work? You, I got you an interview with the manager at my father's factory. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, I think it was about time for you to set things right, huh? Well, what do I have to do? What an interesting question. Shine your shoes. Put your best suit on, okay? And be on time. Because? Because Natalia Toledo has a temper, so we'll see. Prudence and restraint. city is really growing. And our project can stay behind. Okay. We have to move. We're doing fine, sir. We've bought loads of premises and- I want the factory now. It occupies half of the block of two we need, okay? Natalia Toledo will sell soon. I want the factory now. So the manager wants to become a member of the Toledo family soon, huh? Whether he likes it or not, he'll have to wait. I like that. You must make men suffer. <laughs> Sometimes. But dear, I would like you to tell me why you said yes to his proposal. Why? Don't you like him? Well, to Caesar. What is Caesar's? I'll admit he's handsome intelligent, and could be the ideal candidate, but my sixth sense never fails me. There is something about him I don't like. Don't ask me what, but there is something I don't like. Perfect men don't exist. They do. It is difficult to find them, and well, not perfect, but maybe the ideal man. But I don't give up. I keep looking for him, and I'm sure I'll find him. <laughs> if only everything would be that easy. The perfect man showed up at your door. Well, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Morning. Natalia Toledo? Are you here for the chauffeur job? Well, yes. I came on a bit of a search, and beggars can't be choosers, you know? Uh, but now that I've... Now that I've seen you, I would gladly drive you to the end of the world. Hey, wow. And when is the wedding, sir? I still don't have a definitive date, but... Careful with that. Natalia is not a woman that can be easily persuaded. I don't really think that's going to be a problem. Natalia is the owner of a factory. She has power, credibility, and does not need to be involved with a man like you. I have something in my favor. Natalia is in love. And that's much more important for a woman. Oh yeah, Natalia wants to show she's an iron woman. Very strong, untouchable, impervious, but really she's very sensitive. Very emotional. And Natalia is... Your time is up. I'm calling to... Goodbye. <sighs> Look, I'm not understanding. Do you or don't you need the job? Of course I do, but I expected to find a bitter woman. And when the door opens, I find out that, well... No, 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 come on, come on. What's your name, young man? Martin Guerrero, a uh, pleasure to meet you. Mm. The Guerrero gentleman was surprised by your... Beauty. Maybe you were gonna say elegance? Something that speaks highly of you. A mile away, it shows you are a kind and thoughtful gentleman, very difficult to find these days, dear. And we're not gonna crucify you because of that. Well, the truth is, you don't find a woman like this every day. Yes, my niece is a beautiful woman. She really is. That's quite right. Well, this interview is not meant to talk about me. Please sit down and let's start. All right, Come. thank you. Come. Sorry. Mm, honey, I'm gonna prepare some coffee for you right away. Oh, yes. No, no, and stay. Well, the water is already boiling. Yeah, you want it. I'm imprudent. I say things I shouldn't, but I don't bite, so don't worry, lady. Listen, Mr. Guerrero, let's agree on something. Uh-huh. Point one, don't address me as lady. 
Well, whatever you want. I'm sorry, it's the way I always talk, but I'll keep it in mind. Not a lady, not a lady, not a lady. Point two, I want seriousness. I don't like jokes. You don't like jokes? Well, wait, the list's getting longer. Let me take a piece of paper. Don't address you as lady. And no jokes. All right, I'm learning. Well, the man doesn't even have a car, right? He's <laughs> practically walking, huh? I'm Rodrigo Amador. You two gentlemen were very highly recommended to me. As long as you keep your part of the deal, you have no trouble with us. I need you to follow her. Once you get her, take her here. I don't think she'll come out. But keep watch anyway. And remember what we talked about. Absolutely nothing can happen to her. Don't worry, sir. Nobody will harm your lady, okay? <laughs> Once you have her, call me from her phone, as if you found my number there. And after that, I'll take charge. Calm down. You're going to be the hero of the movie, okay? Is everything there? You'll get the other half when you finish the job. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions I want you to answer without interruption. Got it, Guerra? Yeah, at least call me Martin. I mean, I can't call you Lady. You're not gonna call me by my last name like they did in military school, because that, that sucks. That would really... Do you have really... experience as a driver? Driver? No way! And much less for a stuck-up woman giving orders all day. You can forget it. No, no, don't you dare tell Natalia that you have a dream of becoming a race car driver, and much less tell her that you're racing at the racetrack. No way. Are you saying you used to drive a taxi? Yes. Ma'am or miss. My name is enough. What was your last job? Mechanic, but the shop closed down. It's very good. Well, yes. Being dead broke and not able to support the family is very... I'm talking about your mechanic's knowledge. How can you not have a job and be so demanding? Please tell me, huh? But brother, you're telling me the woman's an ogre. You should go to the interview. Bring out the charming Martin you have inside of you. Maybe she likes you. Maybe you should talk about your family, and that way perhaps you can get a job, you know what I'm saying? I live with my mother and my younger sister. They're the two women in my life. Mom? Are those my shoes? Yes, darling. You'll see they will come out as new. No. Do you really think I'm gonna wear those shoes full of patches, Mom? What's wrong with that? They will last for at least one more year, darling. Come on, till when, huh? They're those old shoes, shoes you've repaired. No. Flor, didn't you see what happened to your brother's car? Didn't you know he lost his job? We <sighs> must tighten our belts, honey. But it's always been like this. Not having money even to buy a pair of shoes? I don't say those things. You know what, Mom? Don't even bother trying to repair those filthy shoes because I'm not going to wear them. I How about did that, my huh? part. Now is your turn to see what to do. <sighs> your pot plant. Where's your father? Gone. Did he die? Well, almost. Almost? Yeah, he left one day to buy milk and cigarettes and he never came back. <laughs> So, do you support your family? Yes, madam. I've been working since I was 15, so that's why I never studied. But I'll take any kind of job at all to give them what they need. Why you like that, huh? Why do you have to be so nasty and arrogant? Don't you realize your brother and I do everything we can to give you a good life? Do you think this is a good life, mother? Oh, I get it now. You two feel satisfied with anything. What are you missing, huh? I miss many things in life, Mother. Starting with a father. Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the one to blame because that guy is a total irresponsible man that doesn't worry about you? Yes. Oh, no. Your brother and I, we do all we can. <sighs> but dance lessons in a car that doesn't run aren't going to take us anywhere. Your brother is looking for a job, but your life's not going to change. You know why? Because you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. That's why, Floor. Oh. Oh, thanks for saying, Mother. I hadn't realized it. You disrespectful brat. No, Mother. 
I'm not disrespectful. What happens is that I have high aspirations. Yeah, a pair of boots. A pair of boots, a house, a different life, Mother. Those are my aspirations. Do you know that? You'll have to work hard, very hard for... That's what I'm gonna do, Mother. I'm gonna work and get my money to buy whatever I want. How are you, Rosa? Oh, very well, Teresa. I'm making an almond cake. Let's see if you like it. Rosita, it tastes as good as it smells. I think you'd better be prepared because we will be hiring you. Thank you very much, Miss Teresa. You know what? Have a big piece of cake ready to see if my niece makes a decision. Are you talking about a marriage? No, dear. We'd have to change her boyfriend. <laughs> the thing is that she's interviewing a candidate I think is the right one. Mr. Guerrero? Yes, pardon, tell me. Are you or aren't you interested in the job? <sighs> well, I really need the job, but that you're putting so many conditions on me, very difficult. Well, I'd already promised that I'd gladly take you to the end of the world if you allow it. You have a great eye. I have it trained. And that's why I could tell you that the man is warm, honest, even handsome. <clears throat> Are we looking for a driver or a husband? Now that you mention it, he could start by being one, and I would be willing to accept him as the other. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that Natalia introduced us. Who understands you? We that aren't man. looking for a husband, but for a driver. Okay. That man, or whoever, stays. He's going to stay. The one who stays will be the family driver. And I must approve him. Rosita, get another real lovely big piece of cake to see if we can soften some members of this house. Excuse me. I'm on a diet. Don't even think about it. You'll understand, Mr. Guerrero? Yes, madam. That after Natalia's experience with the last driver, we must take precautions. No need to worry. I've already talked to the gentleman. Mother, no more questions are necessary. Yes, they are. Excuse me, I must answer. Go ahead. Amanda, how's everything going? Natalia, I'm sorry. I asked Christina to move the appointment with the multinational people, and she simply didn't do it. I can't believe it. I took care of it. I already fired Christina, and I'm calling the multinational office, but they don't answer, so I think we won't be able to cancel that appointment. I'm usually at home and go out only when I need materials for my paintings. Oh, we have something in common. We're both artists. Excuse me? Yes, madam. I tune engines. Like an artist. There's nothing to do. I'm on my way. Please have the papers ready, so I'll just pick them up and run. I must go to the office. Shall I call a cab, dear? Can you start working today? Of course. I haven't finished interviewing him. Mother, this is urgent. So, Martin, your trial period starts today. <sighs> you know, I don't like speed. You don't like Stay speed? Stay away from your cell phone. Everything's cool. And avoid everything's cool. All right, madam. Very good, then. That's much better. Yes, madam. Bye, mother. Bye, dear. Mrs. Helena, it was a mm -hmm. pleasure to meet you. Uh, so long. Bye, aunt. So long. I don't like that guy. Don't you like him? Or the fact that your daughter tested him without asking you? Hmm? Both things. Mr. Guerrero is kind of... Oh, he's nice. He's gentle and he has a beautiful smile. No, those are not your reasons. He's cheap and vulgar. He is an extrovert with just something different. Can you picture him in a suit and tie? Awesome. Clothes don't make the man dead. In that case, my dear, let me remind you that we weren't born dressed in silk. Hmm? You had to do it. Mm. <sighs> the man turns four times, the woman turns eight times around the man. Very good, very good. And we repeat the first step. Come on. Why the face? What's wrong? I used Julian's credit card without telling him and made rather a large purchase. Oh, how big? Big, kind of big. I hope it's worth it. Please, Bill. 
I didn't know he was going to lose his job and, well, I wanted to give him a big surprise. Oh, that's a surprise he's really going to get when the first statement arrives. Credit cards are impossible, dear. What am I going to do? You know what you're going to do? Tell him. Tell him, sorry, my love, but I used your card. Forgive me. How can you think that? What then? Will you lie to him? You don't only use his card, but you lie to him again? Oh, I know. What shall I do, Isabel? Why don't you look for a job? What shall I do with Beto? What all women who have children and work do. No way, I don't want to leave him all alone. You're not going to leave him alone. You can bring him here. He's a big and well-behaved kid. I'm going to find something later on. And well, Julian already found a job in the car shop. What if you pay the first installment with money you've earned, huh? Yes, but how? Think, Gabby. Think. Let's go, let's go. You told him how things are and now you're out of a job, right? You told him straight like it is and now you're out of a job, right? You can't cry over spilt milk. And what, you think I should regret it or something, eh? No, since you criticize Martin so much. That he has a temper, he's crazy, can't restrain himself. Oh, come on. What's going on with you, brother? Tell me. Do you think I'm going to steal from people? Well, you don't seem to know me. What's all this lecturing anyway, huh? I'm just thinking about Gabriella and Bertico. Did you already tell them it was the shortest job you've ever had, did you? No, and I haven't told the sponsor either, because we owe him money. And you're not giving anything. Hey, listen, brother, will you stop it? Just stop it, hardhead. We're not going to sell the car. Don't worry about it anymore. As long as they pay my bills. Because you keep stretching your pay list, right? Keep stretching and stretching and stretching? No, no, don't make that face right there. Don't make that face like that and don't open your eyes, all right? No, sir, no, sir. It's getting to the second page, all right? All right? Ah, oh, great. Another gem like Carlos. Well, look, you're, you're not talking to charity too. nuns, you're, okay? Yeah, look, look there. Look what it says right there, okay? Look at it. Look at it. Hello? No, what do you mean? Call the salespeople and ask them what happened. That order must have been ready since yesterday. We can't fail that client. I'm on my way to a meeting. Please keep me informed. <sighs> you travel from one problem to another with this car, don't you, huh? What? Well, yes, from one problem to another, solving things all over because that phone hasn't stopped ringing and as far as I can see, it's just problems. And my problems will increase if I don't get to my meeting on time. Could you step on it? Oh, God, thank you, because having this car and not speeding, what a waste. Is this okay? No, not so fast. Not so fast. Not so fast as to have you crouching, holding to your seat, scared to death. Not so slow, you won't get bored and depressed. Oh, that's very good. Um, thank you. Not too bad, huh? I mean, as boss and driver. Yeah, sure. Sure. Who are you sighing for? And and she scared me. What's his name? Who? The one who gave the dress to you. I don't know. Does that mean you accept presents from strangers? I don't know what you're talking about. I know you and you don't lie. Tell me instead how long you've been dating. Oh, when? No more. Well, because he gives you presents? No, no. Elijah gave me the dress. Pretty. Uh huh. Were there kisses with the stranger already? Oh, and no more. I got it. And you know what? That young man has passed the test. The first test. Oh, listen. This is amazing. This story does not change and neither do you, sir. May I help you, young man? Listen, tell me how sales are coming along. I imagine well because you're still here, right? I think you're going to be working here until you die. Who are you? I'm Lucas. Lucas, I used to live in the neighborhood and then my grandma left and I left too. I left when she left. Oh, and you're here on vacation? No. No, no, we came back to stay. My house is around the corner there. You know what? You don't look familiar at all to me, young man. No. It must be at your age you have no memory. What are you insinuating there? Nothing. I bet if you see my grandmother, you... You'll remember. So can I have some gum, please? We don't give anything here, son. That's for the gum. We sell. Goodbye. Ooh. 
Ooh, Uncle Pepe, who's that handsome man? Supposedly he grew up in the neighborhood and lives around the corner, but I think he came here to steal. I can see those kids a mile away, Floor. Watch out. They're not good news. Floor? Hmm? Are you gonna drink something? Yes, uh, soda, Uncle Pepe. I'm so thirsty. Where were you? I'm exhausted because I walked throughout the whole mall looking for a job. Well, maybe as a saleswoman or something like that in a store, but... Oh, nothing. Nada. Uh, a job, Floor. Just when are you going to finish your studies then, huh? Hmm, another one that'll start talking about study. What a bore. Ah, uh, just what about that? One of them comes here to tell me I'm going to die, and the other one says I'm a bore. They come here to buy two insignificant things and take up all your Bye, time. Bye, Uncle Pepe. Did you see that, boss? Just in time. Martin, I'm in a hurry. Go ahead. I'll wait for you here. The door? It's not locked. The idea is for you to get out and open it for me. Ah. The hand is not necessary. I knew that. Wait for me here. We're leaving right now. Of course. Just wait here without a little smile. Good morning. Good morning, miss. Do we have the sales report for the past two years? Yes. In the catalogs? Yeah, there are. And I'm sorry, Nathalie. You know I don't like these types of mistakes. I know I'm trying to justify it, but I, I didn't sleep well this morning. Look, don't worry. It won't, it, won't, it won't happen again. You know that if you have any problem, we can talk about it whenever you want. I don't think it's anything serious. Just stress. Good morning. Yes, hey, Amanda. Catalogs? Hello, my love. Are you still mad? I should be the one who's angry, since you didn't tell me about the accident. Nothing happened, and I'm on my way out. I thought you were going to stay at home. Resting. I have a meeting with a multinational packing company, if I can make it there. You're going to make it, love. As always. Thanks. Need a lift? No, my driver's waiting for me. You already have a new driver. He's on a trial period. Amanda, will you give me a second alone with my girlfriend, please? Of course. I see you're wearing the ring. That means that you can't really be that angry with me. We'll have time to resume our conversation. For the time being, I'm sorry to say this, but your timing is always wrong. Downtown, then. Yes, please. Uh, take the fastest way, because I'm short of time. Don't worry. You're gonna make it. Relax. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, Martin. You okay? How are you doing, man? Is this your new car? That's what I'd like. Well, man, I prefer to see you in this car than wasting your time in those racing cars. Leave that one in the parking lot, and if you want, you can have some of the cake and mm -hmm. eat it. I have to deliver some stuff, okay? Yes. Martin. Take care. I'll see you later, Martin. I have to deliver this. This is a real delicacy. Would you like some? Martin, what racing car is he talking about? What's that atrocity supposed to be? Ignorance is very daring, isn't it? Why? They say art has different points of view, different concepts, and to me, that's a canvas full of stains. To me, it has a very important significance. What is it? Anguish, lack of affection, solitude. Oh no, honey, add some color to it, you get me? Because nobody said love isn't gonna come back into your life. No, love is buried, love is dead. Yes, but second chances aren't. No, they don't exist to me. I think that's exactly the inspiration your paintings lack. That's all they need for you to sell them, to profit from them, to bring light to them. Oh, you're quite right, totally. No, 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 no. What are you no, doing? No. What? I have to start over. Well, this wouldn't be happening if you had, well, a boyfriend, sweetie. Out. Get out of here. No, 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 out, no, no, no. Out, I'll out, bring out, you to instead. Out, 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 out. No, 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 no. Tell me something. How are sales coming along? 
I imagine, well, because you're still here, I think you're going to work here until you die, right? Yeah, finding a job is definitely very hard. In one place, they rejected me because I don't have experience. In another, because they need someone older. Imagine that. It's very difficult. Otherwise, ask your brother. Hey, hardhead, don't you need a waitress in here? Here? No, 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 Flora. How can you even ask that, huh? This is not a place for a girl like you. Definitely not. Most of the customers here are men, and many of them... Well, many of them overstep their boundaries, and most of them don't even pay. Don't throw hints, I always pay. No, 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 don't make faces at me, alright? Don't make that face, because you generally show up here with nothing at all, once a month and nothing. But I'm on time, and that's what's important here. Don't worry, next month I will settle this debt. Machine, how come I hadn't thought of you? <sighs> Don't worry, Flora. I'm used to women ignoring me, you know? It happens a lot. But tell me, what do you want, huh? What do you need? Coffee and some pastries? No, sir. To help me find a job that... Another one? Yes, I'll do whatever I have to. Um, tell me something. Did you finish high school already? <laughs> high school studies? Well, I have one year left, but I'm an adult already and very responsible. What can I say? I'll have to talk to Amanda, a good friend of mine. She's in charge of choosing the personnel at the factory where they always need people, and maybe, yes, maybe, I could put a good word in for you, you know? <laughs> oh, machine, you have no idea how much that would help me. I would love you forever. Mm, that is what all girls say to me, Flora, but I'm alone and lonely. Very lonely. Hey, machine, can we do that today? Mm. Oh, say yes, we won't lose anything. Okay, let's go talk to Amanda, okay? But I'm not promising you anything, all right? Nothing. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, this is getting real good, huh? Let's go. I'll pay for that cup of coffee later, but that coffee was really cold, okay? The first thing you should have told me and more when I said that I did not like speed was that you were a race car driver. Oh, no, that about car racing is just a way of saying because I was there, but the sponsor and the car failed me. Whatever, but you didn't have to tell lies. No, I didn't lie, I swear. I simply didn't give information that I considered relevant, but I, uh... Don't justify yourself. Besides, I don't understand it. If that's what you want, why did you attend the interview? Well, there is a world called need, isn't And I haven't had it easy. I know someday I'm gonna live on what I like, my cars, but for the time being, I have to do whatever I have to do. I'm not an irresponsible person. I can distinguish a street from a racetrack, so don't worry. Nothing is gonna go wrong with us. Yes, my previous driver also said he was responsible, that he drove carefully, and look how that ended up. But that's not gonna happen with me, just relax. Of course not, because you're no longer gonna be my driver. We'll go to the meeting, you'll leave me at home afterwards, and that'll be it. Come to the office tomorrow, I'll pay for the day. Lady, don't be like that. Uh... Don't say lady! Okay, okay. Watch out! What's with these guys? Leave that this way. Leave that there, and please be careful. Move that to where the light is, and put this pretty puff seat over there, please. Gabriella, the Gabby, what? what's going on here? What are you doing here? This is my house, I think. Yes, but you should be working. I should be, but I quit. What? Okay, okay, Mr. Gossip, goodbye. We'll arrange the tip later. Bye, 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 bye. Julian. Please tell me that what I've just heard is not true. No. Just as you heard, I'm no longer working, Gabriella. What? You started work today. You can't be so irresponsible. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Tell me where you got this furniture. <gasps> Hold tight, okay? Oh. What's wrong, Martin? Relax, relax, it's okay. Get on the floor right now, right now! On the floor, quickly, come on, come on! 
Stop this truck, Alice. I'm gonna shoot right. Stop it. Stop this truck. Come on, stop it. Get They're down, coming, get Martin. down, madam. Get down. Get down, get down. Let's let's get them. Oh, watch it, Martin! Don't worry, don't look back. Watch it, Martin, they're coming! Relax and don't look back. Just oh. trust me, okay? Oh. 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 What are we gonna do? Be careful! Relax. Relax and don't be scared and hold tight because I'm, I'm gonna turn now, okay? Stay down, stay down. Relax. Let's hope they didn't see us. Hide, hide. Where, where, where are they? Where did they go? Go on straight ahead, okay? Okay, okay. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's move it up, come on. They didn't see us. Do you see them? Yes. They just went straight ahead. Are you sure, Martin? Relax, are you relax. sure? Don't worry, madam. Come on. Are you sure? It's okay. I'm, I'm here now. It's all over. It's all over. No need to worry. Just don't worry. The least you could do is tell me what your plans are with my credit card. How come? I was going to tell you it was a surprise. Don't worry. I asked for 46 installments. What are you saying? Are you mad? I'll end up paying ten times for that living room furniture. Come on, Gabriella. You see it. Look at yourself. No matter what, I always end up owing you, right? Just because you're the only one who can spend money as you please. Uh, uh, what are you saying, Gabby? Huh? What am I saying? That you spend all the money in the world on that old junk you have in the car shop and I've got no right to say anything. That's an investment, not spending. Investments generate money and that thing neither has nor will generate one penny. Think about it, Julian. What is the money I spend in this house for? Huh? The entire family? One must know when to spend and when not to. We aren't in the condition to change the living room furniture. Come on! Oh, yeah? And how should I know you were going to work for one day? I explained to you what happened, didn't I? You don't understand, do you, Julian? You've got a responsibility. You are the father of this family. You've got a son. Yes, sir. And you can't afford playing car racing. As if you were 14. Julian! And second, you shouldn't be choosing the job that you like the best. Relax. I'm gonna find a job. What I'm not gonna do is steal from people in the streets. And I'll quit whatever job I want, Gabriella. If you knew me at all, you would know this about me. Grandma. Grandma. Hello, hello, hello. May I come in? <sighs> Rosita, thank God it was you. Hello, dear. Your mom always needs to bring you this. <gasps> Those flowers are beautiful. <laughs> Those flowers are beautiful. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, wonderful. It should look wonderful <laughs> right. on you. Right? I, I, oh God. Sorry, dear. I forgot to put it on mute. Forgot. To... Oh, don't worry. Take it. I'm going to try this on. <laughs> Thanks. What is it, dear? Grand, haven't you left for work already? No, not yet. I'm going to cook dinner. What would you like, Grand? Oh, that's... that's... Nice, anything. 
Are you staying late tonight? Because otherwise I can pick you up. Tell me where you are and I'll get there. No. No, don't worry. Uh, there's no need. <laughs> Rosa? <laughs> Hang that phone up and do some housework. All right? Yes, yes. Grandma, did you tell me lies? Where are you? No. No, don't. Don't worry, son. We'll we'll talk when I get home. No, you're working as a maid. What is wrong with you? We already discussed this, Gran. Don't worry. There are family there, Toronto. What does it matter that Toledo's? I've already found that some rich guys want to take advantage of stuff. No, N no, son. They behave very nice to me here, and I'm taken care of. Lucas? Luke? What am I going to do with this boy and his temper? Oh my gosh. Feeling better now? You realize being a speed freak helps sometimes, right? That's true. You're quite right. Thanks, Martin. My dear, my dear. Oh, my love. Are you hurt? Are you okay? How are you, no, young fine. man? Yes, yes. Fortunately, nothing wrong happened to me. I mean, us. But who are the men? What do they want or, or what? Well, knowing who they were or... What they wanted, well, I think it was going to be a kidnapping. That's what it looked like. Oh, no, 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 no. That can't be true. Well, yes. They weren't going to rob us. One of them had a gun. That would have been easy, shouldn't That's it? That's true. No. No. You know, oh, thank God you were in good company, Da. Lucky we were there together because they were seconds away from getting us out of the car. What? That close. Were those men going to get you out of the car, You're dear? quite right, and Thank God. Martin was with me. 